In this morning's Woman's Doctor, the connection between migraines and irritable bowel syndrome, or IBS, numerous studies have found an elevated incidence of migraine or headache among people with IBS and vice versa. Mercy Medical Center Dr. Gordon Robbins says there could be a smooth muscle dysfunction underlying both disorders. Another idea is that uh, those who suffer from one or the other have maybe a hypersensitive uh, nervous system which would predispose them to chronic pain syndromes in general, like IBS or migraines. Well, Mercy doctors say relieving stress can help, cutting out smoking, drinking, and overeating. People also do better with something like yoga and acupuncture. It's also important for patients to keep a food diary, noting how they feel after eating certain foods. And this morning, Mercy Medical Doctor Eleanor Zoe is joining us with some more information. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. What have you found with this food diary? Anything interesting when you try to discover a link between what people are eating and either the IBS or the headaches? Sure. So we know that for both migraines and IBS, certain foods and beverages can trigger symptoms, and it's different for each person. So it's really important to keep a food diary, note how you feel after eating certain foods, and identify any food triggers and try to eliminate that from your diet. Is that one of the hardest things as a doctor to talk to your patients about is eliminating foods that maybe people really love and cause it's, them problems? It, yes, definitely. It's so true. There are so many foods people say, I really, really love this, but it's causing me so many symptoms. And I say, you really have to cut it out because if it's causing you migraines or causing you uh, irritable bowel syndrome symptoms, it's, it's not good for you. And when finding that link between the migraines and the IBS, is it sort of a chicken and the egg? What really comes first? So there actually, there's a correlation. People who have IBS are more likely to have migraines and people who have migraines are more likely to have IBS, but one does not cause the other actually. It's a correlation and not a causation. So how do you go about figuring out whether a patient actually has IBS? So IBS is, a, it's a functional disorder of the gut and patients have symptoms of chronic abdominal pain or discomfort. And this can include cramping, bloating, gas, diarrhea or constipation or even both of those symptoms and it's true a lot of other diseases can cause this so it's it's a matter of ruling out anything else and then irritable bowel syndrome would be you know the the diagnosis if there's no other reason i say and so by ruling it out are you doing a bunch of testing to see if maybe the person has acid reflux or if they have something else going on correct correct and so tests for that would be colonoscopy and endoscopy? It really varies. Everyone's symptoms are different and we focus on the symptoms. If somebody comes with bloating, we may do some breath tests to make sure they don't have some bacterial overgrowth. If they have diarrhea, we may do a colonoscopy, just make sure the colon looks normal. What is the treatment for IBS? What can you do about it besides the, what you said, the relieving the stress and changing your diet? Uh, so again, this, this treatment for IBS is very patient dependent. Everyone responds differently. Uh, stress and relieving anxiety are major keys, like what was mentioned before, yoga, acupuncture, using peppermint oil, cognitive behavioral therapy. When, we, when it comes to medications, there's not one pill cures all. Everyone is different. So at that point, you really need to see a healthcare professional. But there, there, is, there are medications you can take for it. Yes, it depends on what treatments you have, uh, what symptoms you have. Okay, all right, Dr. Zell, thanks for joining us this morning. Very interesting. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And if you have any other questions or you'd like a referral, call 1-800-MD-MERCY.